My background is <laughs> got nothing to do with e-commerce business. No, my first sale happened about um, 10 days after I received ownership of the store. And after running it for a month, I was able to, in net profit, replace my salary. Well, Salvia um, gave me step-by-step -step instructions how to do it. And Larissa, my business manager, helped me a lot and walked me through the process. It was very clear and very easy to do. And then I just took the plunge and did it. And I'm very happy I did. Hello, everyone. I'm Anna from Salve. And today I have a special guest from New Zealand. Meandra has achieved financial independence with Salve and is ready to share her success story. Her store has already made more than $10,000 in revenue. Ah, Meandra, how are you? Could you please introduce yourself? What's your background? Hi, um, and then my name is yeah, Meandra, like you've already said. Um, I'm 42 years old. Um, I've got three teenagers and I'm married. I live in New Zealand, but I'm originally from South Africa. We immigrated here about seven years ago, and my background is <laughs> got nothing to do with e-commerce business. I've got a degree in occupational therapy, which is a, which is a paramedical field. Um, yeah, I'm a trained life coach, and uh, I'm also an artist and a stylist for film shoots. <laughs> so I've done a bit of everything over the years. So how did your commerce story begin? Why did you decide to become an online business owner when you didn't have any experience at all? Well, uh, um, my previous full-time employment was really tough. Um, I worked really long hours and um, for really um, not enough for little pay. So, <clears throat> so I would sometimes work 50 hours a week, sometimes 60 hours a week, it's, which was, it was really tough. And a colleague of mine introduced me to um, e-commerce and more specifically drop the, the, the concept of drop shipping. And we spoke about it um, over the last couple of months. I did some research on it, but I found it to be too daunting because I can't, I'm not a website developer. I don't know how to do marketing. I wasn't happy with buying products from China. I didn't even know that I could. I Also, I didn't want to uh, sell products in the New Zealand market because it's too small. I have, I've sold, um, I've had a little website where I sold um, vintage clothes and it was really difficult to get into the market in New Zealand because it was kind of already flooded. It's a really small country. So I just put all that on the back burner. And then um, in October, I decided to resign from my job. I actually started um, going for interviews for new jobs. I just wanted to get out of that hectic environment. And um, a week after I submitted my application, oh, my, my resignation, sorry, I came across an ad <laughs> for Ali Dropship on social media. And I... Um, just decided to to research it and i phoned christopher in the us <laughs> and um yeah um all my all my concerns regarding drop shipping um was yeah basically answered i felt at ease and i felt i could i could tackle it at this stage without any fears and that um salvia and ali drop should be able to support me and then i just took the plunge and did it and I'm very happy I did. <laughs> That's great. Uh, in your life, is it your full-time activity or is it a side hustle right now? What can you say about managing this uh, store? There? Um, well, well um, at the moment, um, my, my store only keeps me busy about 30 minutes a day. And then uh, one one day a week, I'll put two two three hours aside where I do my finances and I just do more in depth um, analysis of my ads, and that's about it. Uh, like I said, I did resign my full time employment. I ended up not taking a new job, so um, it's not full time. It's a kind of a side hustle. I can say it doesn't take up a lot of my time. Uh, could you please tell us more about your 
impressive store. How long have you been running it and uh, what are the results your store achieved? Okay, so I don't know if my store is impressive. Uh, what I did is I bought um, an existing store from uh, Ali Dropship. Um, I just felt more comfortable with that, with my, with having no background. I just thought buying an existing store would be easier for me. I do hope to um, maybe next in six months to 12 months to, um, uh, yeah, get Ali Dropship to build a custom store for me now that I know how things run. But yeah, um, I haven't been running it long. I, I, it was handed over to me at the beginning of October. Um, and I only made my yeah, first sale mid-October. Um, and um, yeah, so it's basically one and a half months I've been running it. <laughs> um, so, so, and I, I did pretty great. Um, my gross profit for November was about $6,400, which is just a little bit less um, what I aimed for, but I'm still very happy. And after running it for a month, I was able to, in net profit, replace my salary that I got in full-time employment. So that was my aim. And I didn't think I would reach it within the first month. So I'm very happy. <laughs> That's actually really impressive. <laughs> yes. I don't know, but I'm happy. <laughs> well, what kind of products are you selling? Uh, what did you like about the products in your store? And did you evaluate them personally in some way? Okay, so, so I... Um sell baby and kids products or toddler products. Um, the reason why I chose this, chose this specific niche and um, product is because I um, have a degree in occupational therapy and I used to work with children in private practice and I used a lot of educational toys. Um, so I just felt, I know a little bit about what products, um, yeah, about, about uh, kids' products and toys specifically. I just felt comfortable with it. And I felt comfortable with the types of products that was listed on the store. Um, it's all products that I would be happy to um, buy myself. Um, yeah, integrity is really important to me. So I wouldn't want to sell products that I'm not happy with. Yeah, and I'm happy with all the products that Salvia offers. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. And um, well, uh, did you achieve your first uh, sale quickly? Uh, and how and when did your first sale happen? Um, no, my first sale happened about um, 10 days after I received ownership of the store. I probably would have um, sold my first product within 24 hours but I don't know if you remember in October Facebook and Instagram shut down for a day yeah <laughs> in, so so that happened that happened during the business handover process I don't know when I, I don't I don't need to go into the detail probably but what Facebook did it duplicated my Facebook profile and attached the Facebook page my website facebook page to my duplicated wrong profile and it was a big mess so we had to redo all that again but from the moment i launched my ads to making the sell the first um sell was less than 24 hours wow <laughs> so, um, so i was very impressed with that as well <laughs> and what can you tell about promoting your store is it difficult right now for you uh, no, um, so so I find it very easy. I was I, I was very um, daunted by the process in the beginning because I know nothing about it. But the but um, as you probably know, um, Ali Dropship or Salvia um, gave me step by step instructions how to do it, and Larissa, my business manager, helped me a lot and walked me through the process. It was very clear and very easy to do. Um, yes, yeah, so and now now I'm running the ads. I meet up with Larissa over uh, over um, calls whenever I I need her to help me. She and she's taught me how to interpret Facebook the Facebook metrics. So as to, I'm only about a month and almost two months in, 
And um, as time goes by, I need Larissa's help less and less. So in the beginning, I used to contact her almost daily, and then it went to weekly, and now it's maybe every second to third week. Um, and um, yeah, I actually just had a call with her um, at the end of last week where she said, uh, where she introduced a new Facebook ad strategy to me that I didn't know existed. So I feel I'm, I'm learning a lot and very happy to have that <laughs> someone there to help me. So no, it, it's very easy. And I'm, uh, it also makes it very easy for me that Salvia has um, already done all the hard work in terms of the face, the ads, the videos, and the imagery, the photos of all the products that you can just use on social media. It's all there and ready to use. <laughs> yes. Which makes yes. it so much easier. <clears throat> ah, and um, do you remember yourself and your life one year ago, right before the holiday season? What has changed in, in a year? How do you feel about yourself and your life right now? Okay, well, a year ago, I was in this full-time position. Um, I was actually, an, because I'm creative, I was in uh, an events management, in an, in an events management role. <clears throat> and December in New Zealand is summer. And so a lot of events happen and I felt burnt out, <laughs> really tired, and my health started to decline because of the hours I was working. So... Um, Exactly 12 months ago, it was, I was almost at breaking point. Um, yeah, anyway, only got the guts to resign this past October. And now, now I find myself, um, I'm able to replace my salary. I'm sure the business will grow and I'll, I'll get more income from it than I did from my full-time employment. Um, and I am healthier uh, and my health is, been re my mental and physical health is much better and my relationships are also much better because I've got time to invest in the things that's important to me so this this business has it's not just about the money for me I bought I, I it feels like I bought a lifestyle I, I got my life back <laughs> wow I bought a lifestyle and with the, you know um a lot of the a lot of this type of businesses when they when they um not e-commerce necessarily, but there's a lot of money-making schemes out there and they they make people think that you can go on all these wonderful, it'll make so much money, you can go on all these wonderful holidays. That's not what I mean. I just mean the simple things in life <laughs> I can now enjoy because I'm not in an office in front of a computer, you know, from 7 in the morning until 9 p.m. at night. Um, so I'm very grateful <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do it's not just the purchasing of the business it's all the support that goes with it that I really appreciate thank you <laughs> so what do your friends and family think about your business uh, my friends are very our family are very supportive very supportive and I love it um yeah if, if we lived in America I'm sure everybody <laughs> would have supported my business um friends friends are also excited but I have to say also a bit jealous <laughs> in a um yeah jealous because they can see it's going well with me and I think there's a concept um I think I think there's a, a general belief out there that you have to work yourself half to death um, to earn a reasonable income and I don't think that is true I don't think one needs to be lazy but I, I, I don't yeah I, I don't want to I don't think we should sacrifice relationships and things or we need to to get a proper income um, anyway yeah so so my friends are a little bit jealous I don't I don't tell everyone what I'm doing yet um, <laughs> Um, there are a few people that's interested in doing this, but they're going to watch me for six months. And if it all goes well and successful, I'll send them your way. <laughs> okay. You can become our affiliate, actually, and yes. earn. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. I know about that program, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. <clears throat> now we would love to hear your expert advice. 
what does okay. it take to be a successful businesswoman in e-commerce? And is there some essential tip you would like to give someone who has just started their own business? Okay, so um, I, by no means am I an expert. <laughs> I've, I've had... Um, I've, I've been a business owner before. I had, my, I had my own private practice. And like I said, I used to have a little clothing shop where I sell vintage clothes. Um, but yeah, by all means, that does not make me an expert in this area. I think the advice that I would give um, that worked for me is to be patient um, with yourself and um, also to persevere. Perseverance means to... Um, yeah, it's, it's a steady effort and not to give up, especially when you enter um, into a business platform like this that for me was brand new. I knew nothing about it. It's important to be patient <laughs> and it's important to just persevere even if things were difficult. I nearly gave up in the beginning with all this Facebook mess up because I had no idea how to fix it. Um, but with Larissa's help and I, uh, and I also did a, hours of research on how to fix the problem, we ended up um, sorting it out. But after that, it was it was smooth sailing. So yeah, patience and perseverance, I would say. Yeah, and I think, yeah, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. So instead of feeling daunted by this big business that you think you can't manage, if you just start small like I did and take it one step at a time, it will slowly grow. And um, you can you can actually what's amazing about um, e-commerce or, or drop shipping specifically, you can grow the business to match your capacity. Um, well, that's what I think, you know, I, you don't have to put all you don't have to keep on pushing um, money into ads to generate more sales if you don't want to. Um, so th that's what's awesome for me. Um, and then I think it's also important to understand what type of business you're in. Um, there's a difference between e-commerce and drop shipping. And um, e-commerce is where, my, according to me, is where you sell a product online on a website. But um, <clears throat> so that can mean that you sell your own product that you make on your own or produce somewhere. But drop shipping is where you use an existing product that is already a, a good seller, already trending out there, and you just, yeah, um, sell that product on your website and they, you don't have to worry about all the expenses. So so um, for me, I'm, I'm a creative person. I'm an artist. Um, I constantly have to remind myself that this business is not a creative outlet for me. Um, it's just there um, to make consistent income for me. So I, I find other outlets for creativity. And I, my next piece of advice would be is if you do a drop shipping business specifically, then focus on the things that's important. And that for me would be the, um, your marketing strategy. Yeah, a drop shipping business doesn't draw a lot of traffic to your website. <laughs> that's how I understand it. So it's awesome to have an existing website. That's awesome. But I don't feel that I need to spend hours and hours creating a Christmas theme for my website or a Halloween theme for my website because that's not, I don't have, um, yeah, returning customers. So I, my, 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 my advice would be spend your time on the things that actually create the income for your business. So I don't know much about it, but that's, <laughs> that would be my initial bit of advice. <laughs> um, thank you a lot. Uh, I'm really glad that we had this talk <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, I wish you um, just earn as much as you want <laughs> with this business and will help you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>